All right, kids. Uh, hello and welcome to our first English class in a video. I hope you enjoy it and I hope this is very useful for all of us. Um, all right, let's begin. All right, hello, fifth grade. Um, it's good to be communicating this way. I was gonna say it's good to see you, but we cannot actually see each other. You can see me, but I cannot see you. Anyways, um, I send you a big warm hug right there at the heart. I miss you guys and I hope you're staying safe and that you're having fun being at home with your parents and with your family. All right, uh, let's begin. Okay, last week you worked with the test for the chapter number six. You had to complete that and turn it in on Tuesday. And today we're gonna do one last activity that you can see in the book and all right, now join me on page 165 of your textbook. Page 165 of the textbook. I think today's class is going to be pretty fun. I hope you enjoy it. Remember, this is a video. You can pause and hit play. So um, any time of the video you want. Page 165 of the textbook. All right, so now that you're with me on page 165 of the textbook, if you see there, it's titled Making Connections. We're gonna work a little bit with the arts today in our class, and it's titled Optical Illusions. Now, let me see if I can show you here, like, right here, page 165 of the book. I forgot to mention this little rectangular, yellow rectangle. Um, you can see what I'm saying in words, all right? Like a closed caption, that is pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna be working with optical illusions. If you can follow the reading with me where it says focus. Listen, sometimes what we can see can de deceive us. And it says here where it says focus, let me see if I can zoom in here. All right, right here, where it says focus, focus. Follow the reading with me. It says, some kinds of art can fool your eyes. An image that fools your eyes is called an optical illusion. Sometimes artists use optical illusions to make you believe that a picture is moving when it is not in reality. This happens in a flip book. A flip book has a simple picture on each page. The picture changes very slightly from one page to the next. When you flip the pages quickly, the picture appears to be moving. The illusion of movement is caused by something called persistence of vision. This means that your mind holds the image you see for about one 30th of a second after it appears. So, a veces la, la ilusiones ópticas pues son eso, eh, imágenes que te hacen trampa, por decirlo de un modo. Este, y los flipbooks, como el que vamos a hacer hoy, este, pues eso es lo que sucede, es una ilusión óptica. Este, si, si en algún momento deja de aparecer lo que estoy diciendo aquí abajo, es porque estoy hablando mucho en español. Okay, y los closed captions están para el inglés. So si también ven palabras raras, pues es que está tratando de parear lo que digo en español con una palabra en inglés. Okay, so hoy vamos a hacer un flipbook. Now we're gonna read the instructions first, and then we're gonna do our flipbook together. I'm also going to be sending a video where you can see um, other kinds of flipbooks as optical illusions. Okay, but we're going to do one together with me with a video. All right, so practice where it says practice in the book here. Practice. All right, number one says make a flip book. Find these materials, two sheets of paper, pencil, eraser, crayons, scissors, and a stapler. Then follow these instructions. 